In this video, we will go through remote binding for three different remote styles. First, determine which remote model you have. The Innovation Series remote is white with blue up and down arrow buttons. Some versions feature a memory and fill button. The Advanced Series and Universal remote is silver with a black face and triangular shape. If your remote says Advanced Dual Air Technology Dual Temp remote, follow the Advanced Series binding process. If your remote says Sleep IQ FlexFit 1 or FlexFit 2 FlexFit 3 remote, follow the Universal remote binding process. Please follow along according to which remote you have. First, we will bind the Innovation Series remote. Ensure that there is a 9 volt battery in your remote. Unplug and plug in the firmness control system. You will hear a click, click, click sound. Within 60 seconds, press either the R button for a dual hose or the up arrow for a single hose firmness control system. If you will be binding a second remote, repeat the same steps to bind your second Innovation Series remote. The first remote will stay bound when you unplug and plug in the firmness control system. Now, we will show how to bind an advanced series remote. A new remote comes with two AA batteries. Keep them within reach. For an existing remote, first remove the batteries. Unplug and plug in the firmness control system. Within 60 seconds, install the two AA batteries, positive side facing down, and push any button. Repeat this process to bind a second advanced series remote. Now, we will show how to bind the universal remote. Only bind one remote at a time. To bind your existing remote, you will need to navigate to the factory reset option. To get to factory reset, first go to the home screen by pressing the enter select button on the three button universal remote or the home button on the seven or nine button universal remote. From the home menu, use the down arrow button to select system. Then select settings, reset preferences, and factory reset. When asked if you want to reset the remote to factory settings, select yes. The remote will now display, let's get started. When asked if this is a second or replacement remote, always select no. Unplug and plug in your firmness control system to a working wall outlet or a surge protector. Then press enter to continue. If you get a screen showing remote failed to sync to pump, that's okay. Make sure the detachable cord is securely seated at the base of the firmness control system and the outlet. The system can be plugged into a working surge protector or a wall outlet that is not controlled by a wall switch or dimmer switch. Unplug and plug in the system again. Then select continue to try again. If the remote continues to fail to sync, please contact Sleep Number customer service. Next, the universal remote will prompt you to bind to your FlexFit adjustable base. If you don't have a FlexFit adjustable base, choose skip, otherwise follow the instructions on the remote. Unplug your FlexFit control system box for 20 seconds and select continue. Plug in your FlexFit control system box and press Enter to continue. When prompted to return to flat, press Enter. After the remote shows that the bed position was successfully recalibrated, press Enter to continue. If you get a screen showing remote failed to sync to foundation, that's okay. Make sure the detachable power cord is securely seated in the FlexFit control system box and the wall out. The FlexFit control system box should not be used with a surge protector. Unplug the FlexFit control system box for a full 20 seconds and plug in. Now, select Continue to try syncing again. Selecting Skip here will result in the remote not binding to the FlexFit control system box. If the remote continues to fail to sync, please contact Sleep Number customer service. If you do not have a dual temp layer, select Skip. Otherwise, follow the prompts on your remote. Keep in mind that when the remote refers to the right dual temp control system, this means the right side as if you were laying on the bed. 
Not all universal remotes will prompt to bind to the dual temp control system, since earlier remote versions are not compatible with the dual temp layer. Wording may vary. Unplug and plug in the dual temp control system engine to a working outlet. If you have two systems, start with the right side. Next, unplug and plug in the left side or select skip for a single side system. If you get a screen showing remote failed to sync to the dual temp, that's okay. Make sure the detachable cord is securely seated at the base of the dual temp control system engine, the power brick, and the surge protector or wall outlet. The cable connection should be flat side facing down when plugged into the system. Unplug and plug in the system and select continue to try syncing again. Selecting skip here will result in the remote not binding to the dual temp control system. If the remote continues to fail to sync, please contact Sleep Number customer service. If you have Sleep IQ technology, the remote will automatically set up the system if it has been brought online. If you don't have Sleep IQ technology, your remote will ask you to input your name. You can choose yes or no. If you get a screen showing remote failed to sync to the Sleep IQ, that's okay. Open the door under the LED strip and push in the system processor so that it is fully seated in the firmness control system. Then, select Continue to try syncing again. Selecting Skip here will result in the remote not binding to the Sleep IQ technology system. If you get a screen showing this, that's okay. This means your system isn't online. Select Continue to finish going through guided setup. After setup complete, install the Sleep IQ technology system. Refer to the installation guide, follow the link shown here, or visit sleepnumber.com. Your remote will prompt you to input your name. You can choose yes or no. If you select yes, use the up and down arrows to scroll through the alphabet to enter your name. Do not set the remote down to go to sleep until you have finished guided setup and arrived at setup complete. Set the remote down for 30 seconds to allow the remote to go to sleep. Gently move the remote to wake it up. You may now use your universal remote to adjust your sleep number bed.